Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday afternoon. Goodness, this weekend is almost here, okay? I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. Uh, so today we're going to do another uh, lap of morning on Thursday. So if you are just new to the channel, uh, welcome to the daily live streaming. So every Thursday we play with the lap of morning and Friday is uh, Flare Friday so far, okay? And then uh, Wednesday, sometimes I play with uh, Rancholio Serbia, but I mean, I have sitting right there. So you usually play with the Rancholio Serbia Monday and Tuesday. There's some are open at the moment. Okay. Some days we do coffee roasting. Other days we just play with something. So, you know, we welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Hoon. My channel is all about making better coffee at home. In my case, it's my office here in Tucson. So. This is more like coffee dungeon, okay? As you can see, I have a lot of stuff, okay? I have a lot of coffee gears and stuff, so... I don't want to say studio, it's more like, more like coffee garage, maybe? Garage or dungeon? And by the way, uh, make sure to join the chat room as well, okay? We have a lot of great friends there, so... Make sure to get to know each other, just have some fun, okay? Have some fun there. I see Justin's name showed up. Justin, you got Florian, we got Ed. Hey, welcome to the channel. Okay, so this afternoon, let's play with the lapa boni again. Uh, I just started up, so uh, let's meantime, I'm going to. So, I like to do about 15 gram. Uh, so, this is so this is a 1990s uh, lapa boni pro, and uh, so this is a 49 millimeter of filter baskets. If you buy anything after 2000, it comes with a 51 millimeter, but this is what a 49 millimeter. And then, so I'm going to be using the, my rock hand grinder as well. Let's see what else. Uh, I'm going to be using my uh, Columbia, the naturally processed Columbia beans. I have some little left. So that's what we're going to do that this afternoon. Okay. So we're going to use using 15 gram. Let's see. And also I'm going to be using a uh, piece of paper. Okay. Between, uh, I'm going to put the one on the bottom and the one on the top of my uh, puck. Okay, so this is the, I used that about a couple of weeks ago. I'm just going to um, kind of wet it and then we're going to put it on the top. So give you that more clean extraction. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So, you know what? Let's get going. Okay. Let's have some, let's make some coffee. I think uh, we're going to do, let's make a like small cappuccino this afternoon. Maybe fun to do. Let's, yeah, let's make some small cappuccino there. Meantime, I'm going to change the angle of the cara uh, camera. Okay, uh, that's better. I'm just going to have some space between. Okay, so I think I'm... Hold on, I'm going to flush out my lap of money there for a second. Okay, I'm just going to heat up my cup. Okay. Heat up my cup there as well. The thing with the lapa boni, you don't want to get too hot, okay? You don't want to get too hot because sometimes you don't, once you get over it hits it, overheat the machine we're not gonna make good coffee so um, right now my boiler temperature at 220 my group head temperature around 160 170 right now so I'm just gonna shut it up for a second I don't want to get too hot but meantime I'm gonna prepare my puck here uh, let's do 15 grand By the way, if you have a lapa boni at home, uh, please uh, share with us, you, you know, your workflow or is there maybe secret to, you know, your uh, workflow? Because lapa boni is one of those machines that is, it's not easy to dial in properly. I've been working it up for years. So far, it's been challenging. Uh, with the rock grinder, I like to use the like you know RDT method. RDT is a uh, Ross droplet technique. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold on. I'm just gonna get some hot water here. 
the water is pretty hot. I'm just going to get a little bit of water on my fingertips. I'm just going to go through the, uh, my coffee beans there. Okay. Because the rock, you know, it seems like you get a lot of static. So I'm just going to put some beans in. Well, let's do some grinds. Okay. A great thing about the rod express grinder, we have this long arm, give you a lot more leverage than uh, any other hand grinder. Just make sure, again, the, using the RDT method, you're not going to have a lot of static issues. Works pretty good. I'm just going to tap it, make sure all the coffee grinds is out. Looks pretty good. I'm, meantime, I'm just going to make a fluffy, okay, like so. Okay. Works pretty good there. So let's move on to my Lapaboni here. I'm just turn back on the heat. I'm just gonna flush one more time. At this point, I bet you we're gonna be bring up to the temperature. I'm looking, I'm looking around like 190. There we go. We are around 190. So I think we are very close. Meantime, I'm going to wet my paper. I got, I'm going to be using two papers here, one from the top, one from the bottom. The smaller size for the bottom. So this one I got from uh, John Kim on Discord, okay. The group Espresso Aficionado. I mean, they do a great job. Uh, the group that they talk about coffees all the time. Let's see here. Hold on. I'm just going to put the paper on the bottom, like so. Okay. And I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the coffee... So, putting it here is pretty much almost impossible. So, I've been, you know, kind of like I did a modify. So, this is my homemade dosing cup. I'm just going to put it in here, like so. And so this one fit right into my filter baskets. Okay, just like that. And at this point, I'm going to do the distribution tour here. Use my temper. Just make sure nice and even. Okay. And this point I'd like to put the, this paper on the top like so so I'm going to just it's gonna give you you know better extraction and also cleaner as well okay I'm just gonna lock it in hold on a second here this sometimes it can be tricky Okay, I'm going to wait my shot. I got 15 gram in. Uh, let's trying to trying to shoot for let's say around 30 gram. Okay, I'm just gonna lock it in and then slowly lift the level. And now we are doing the pre infusion. You guys can see it. I'm just going to give you a little push. Okay. 
So whenever I see like couple drops, so that's my sign, okay? I'm gonna try to shoot for about 30 gram there. The great thing about that is you can actually control the, your flow. You can do the flow control. Looks really good. Okay, I'm at 30, 33 gram. Okay, 35. There we go. I'm just gonna look at this beautiful shot of espresso. Okay, let's steam some milk. I'm gonna flip it over there. Okay, so let's use the whole milk this afternoon. I'm going to shut the machine off for a second. Now we're going to do some latte art here. Okay. So this is a small latte using lapa boni. Hold on. Looks pretty good. Pretty good there. Okay. You know what? Let's try this latte. Okay. I hope you guys have. Hold on a second. I wonder we got disconnected for a while. Okay. I, I was getting an inbound car, so hold on. Man, the video quality is crappy though, by the way. It's not the best, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so let's try the, our espresso. Yep. But cappuccino looks great though. Cheers, everybody. Man, it's great. Okay. I have to say, Lapaboni makes really good coffee. But once you got okay, once you learn how to dial it in uh, properly on lap pony, it's pretty good. Hold on a second, I need to put some. I think I'm gonna do one pump of caramel, caramel syrup for the, my afternoon desserts. Just one pump though. One pump is about equivalent to about between seven and ten grams of sugar. So, I mean, that's all you're gonna have for the day. You are doing pretty good. So let's see here. Here we go. You know what? This is great for dessert. Okay, I have to say. That's great for dessert coffee. Man, by the way, so I have the, the video. I'm looking at it right now. Man, the video quality is not the best. Okay, for my live streaming. So, uh, one of those days, okay, I'm going to set up a proper, the live streaming equipment instead of my iPhone. So, it's going to be, Okay, it's, uh, it's, it's gonna be good. Okay, it's gonna be good. I can't wait to share that with you. The better quality, bring the better, you know, better video quality that, you know, on afternoon. My morning is okay. Not the best, but still better, a lot better than from the, my shop. Okay, so I'm gonna big shout out to all my friends uh, in there right now. We got Justin, Florian, Ed, Kelly's there. You got Marie, who else? That's it. Uh, welcome to the channel guys okay and uh, Justin said video quality is fine there okay uh, anyway so so tomorrow morning I got more IMS filter baskets for Bravo so I'm gonna share that with you so this one is a better size than the 18 to 22 gram basket so this is I'm not gonna tell you but I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow morning okay I'm gonna show you guys this IMS baskets tomorrow morning and uh, let's see, tomorrow we're gonna play with flare tomorrow. What else are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna figure something out. Uh, okay, okay, and then also we're gonna play with some, uh, the force temper as well. Okay, Justin asked, is it easy to dial in an espresso with a rock grinder? The with the rock grinder is all based on the click. So, 
I mean, I'm I'm already uh, I'm around between four and five clicks. So, yeah, it's pretty easy. So far, so good. Okay, it, it goes really fine. That's why I mean, if you guys are looking for some, you know, the entry level grinder or you know, hand grinder, make sure to check out the Rock hand grinder. They're only about a couple hundred dollars. Works really good. So far, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay. And uh, if you guys are like really into like manual machine, Lapaboni is a pretty good option as well. I know uh, Ross from Odyssey One, uh, o OE One, okay, OD One. Oh, hold on, OE One, uh, the the Odyssey. So Odyssey is Ross told me that he's getting really close to coming up with the prototype. So should be good. Hopefully we're gonna see it what sometime next couple of weeks. Uh, from his website. Yeah, I'm looking forward to checking it out because they're pretty much the same as the Lapaboni but uh, with the PID uh, comes with the PID and also 58 millimeter port filter. So this is a 49. It's gonna make a big difference. So 58 versus this is 49 Lapaboni uh, the neural model is 51. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that one. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon and I'm gonna see you guys later. Uh, I think I might jump into, you know what, time is all this right now. I might jump into Instagram as well. So uh, join me on Instagram.